Hello, my name is Lene Majette, and I will be talking to you about Euphenia Lofton Haynes. Euphenia Lofton Haynes was born September 11th, 1890 in Washington, D.C. Haynes was a staple in the district's educational domain over the development of her career. She became known as the first African-American woman to receive her PhD in mathematics. She made sure to advance her educational career at every chance she received. She also continued to break racial and gender barriers with her prestigious achievements. Haynes <clears throat> excuse me, was also passionate about her work in the Catholic Church. She served as a member of the Catholic Church until her death in July 25th, 1980 in the District of Columbia. Haynes was born Martha Euphenia Lofton to William S. Lofton and Lavinia Day Lofton on September 11th, 1890 in Washington, D.C. Her father was a well-known dentist and an investor in Black-owned businesses in the D.C. area. Her mother was an active member of the Catholic Church, of which Hayes followed in her footsteps. In 1970, Euphemia married Dr. Apple Haynes, who later became a principal and deputy superintendent in charge of Washington, D.C.'s schools for colored people. Euphemia and Harold were childhood friends and grew up in the same community. They grew up together and knew each other as teenagers with similar interests in education. Although the children, although the couple had no children, they became huge pillars in the D.C. community and worked on building um, relationships with the children in those communities. Euphenia Lofton Hayes took her education very seriously. She attended a multitude of educational institutions, advancing her knowledge at every chance she received. In 1907, Haynes graduated from M Street High School with the title of valedictorian. She then attended Washington, D.C.'s Minor Normal School, which was a school primarily created for women of color. It was established to train these women to become educators. The, excuse me, the school eventually went on to become part of what is now known as the University of the District of Columbia. She <clears throat> Gaines graduated from the minor school in 1909. Euphemia continued her undergraduate career at Smith College in Northampton, Massachusetts. This is where she was able to pursue her bachelor's degree. She graduated from Smith College in 1914 with a major in mathematics and a minor in psychology. Haynes was not finished here with her education. She set her travels to Chicago to enhance her learning even more. Here, Euphenia attended the master's program at the University of Chicago. She graduated from the university with a master's in education in 1930. After traveling across the country and receiving her prestigious degrees, Haynes found herself traveling back to her hometown of the District of Columbia to obtain her doctoral degree. In 1943, Euphenia Lofton Haynes attended the Catholic University of America and received her doctoral degree in mathematics. By doing this, this made her the first African-American woman to gain a PhD in mathematics. By doing this, she opened up the doors for people like myself, um, the woman before me, my children, to go out and be, get these degrees without any problems. And because of her, I'm able to go and right now go out and get my master's and possibly pursue my doctorate if I do, if I do choose to. Well, back to the story at hand. By doing this, she made the first African American to become the first African American to gain a PhD in mathematics. Her thesis was entitled, The Determination of Sets of Independent Conditions Characterizing Certain Special Cases by Symmetric Correspondence. Her doctoral advisor was Aubrey Edward Laundrie, who directed the mathematic dissertations of all the women at the university. Haynes was not only a great student, but she was an excellent educator. She taught for 47 years in her hometown's public school system of the District of Columbia. During Euphenia's professional career, she taught a great range of students from grade school to the university level. She began her professional teaching career at Garrison and Garfield Grade School, where she taught the first grade. She was then an educator at Armstrong High School, where she taught mathematics to her students. Excuse me. She was also an English teacher at Miners Normal School. Haynes continued her teaching career at Dunbar High School, where she taught mathematics and served as chair of the mathematics department. 
She went on to become an instructor at Miners Teacher College and also a professor at the District of Columbia Teachers College. At the District of Columbia's Teachers College, Haynes was also the chair of the Division of Mathematics and Business Education. In 1959, after many years of educating in Washington DC in the Washington DC school system, Euphenia Lofton Hayes retired from the public school system. Although Euphenia Hayes retired from her career in teaching, she did not it did not stop her from working in the education system. From 1960 to 1968, Euphenia served as the president of the Washington, D.C. Board of Education. She was the first African-American woman to hold this position. She also, from time to time, taught part-time at Howard University, which is an HBCU. Haynes was involved in numerous community, community activities. She worked as the first vice president of the Arkadonisan Council of Catholic Women and the Chair Advisory Board of Fies Neighborhood House. She served as the Committee of International Social Welfare on the Executive Committee on the Social Welfare Assembly. Haynes served as the Secretary as well as a value member of the Executive Committee of the DC Health and Welfare Council. She was a member of the local and national committees of the United Service Organization. She was a representative of the National Conference of Christians and Jews, as long, along with the Catholic Interracial Council of Washington. She was also a part of the Urban League, the NAACP, the League of Women Voters, and a member of the American Association of, United, of University Women. Haynes was also a co-founder and proud member of the Catholic Interracial Council of the District of Columbia. In, in of the District of Columbia. <clears throat> Excuse me. In 1962, Haynes was also chosen partner of the Association of the Advancement of Science. A few of Euphenia's greatest noteworthy works included supporting the desegregation of public schools, her spoken and lasting disapproval to the track system in the DC schools, which meant that they assigned students, specifically African-Americans like myself, they put them in whatever educational or occupational programs, depending on their achievement at that time. Once they were set in that, once they were set, they were not able to change these courses. And if the students progressed or digressed, they were still stuck with that choice. And Euphenia did not agree with that, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, in 1959, Hayes was also awarded the Papal Medal. It was the Assessa and Pontifice. It was given to her for all her works on behalf of the Catholic Church. On July 25, 1980, sadly, Haynes passed away at the age of 89 in Washington, D.C. After her death, the Catholic University of America was given the donation of $700,000 from her will, with which they were which, with which they gifted a chair and set up a student loan fund in their education department. Euphenia Lofton Hayes was a great mathematician. She was a great educator. And she used her platform to bring down barriers in the educational system for African American students, male or female. She was a true learner and a great educator that continued to pursue change in our world. Because of her achievements and her will to go on, African American men and women alike can go on to achieve their goals and dreams. Haynes will always be seen and valued for the great contributions she gave to the mathematical systems and educational systems. Also, Euphania Hayes broke down barriers so that women like myself, like my daughters, could go out and be the woman that they wanted to be. Because of her, I'm able to go out and pursue my goals of becoming a mathematician without any problems or any stereotypes or worrying about any racial barriers or gender barriers. I thank Ms. Lofton for her work and her dedication to the educational system as we know it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, my name is Lene Majette, and this is my presentation on Euphemia Lofton Hayes.